monster. There's a yeah. Ki4 and FRJ and Dale talking. They're talking about the uh, big antenna we put up over at. Uh, man, this is a big hill. Got good views up here. But anyway, we're going down now back over to the other location. So let's go to the other location and uh, mosey on over there, see what's going on. Let's see, uh, I'll turn my volume back up here. Where'd they go? They're in there somewhere. Well, I'm at the, the old location now. Up there on the, in the middle of the town where this one's located at. And it's a pretty good tower. It's a good location. Uh, it's only 1,400 and some change feet. Uh, above sea level and then 150 foot tower. We're at the new location uh, on Raccoon Mountain. We're at 1,640 feet elevation and roughly 200 foot on the tower, probably, possibly, maybe, sort of. I think where I'm going to be at. So that's that's a big jump. Uh, KF4, uh, KF4 uh, FGL. Thank you. He's the one that's actually helping us get on Raccoon Mountain. He's the one that's uh, uh, got the radio station up there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice location. Hopefully, uh, it's done well. It's done better right now already, and I haven't even uh, I haven't even tweaked it or tuned it up or done anything yet. So, it's done quite a bit better already, and I haven't even fine-tuned everything—the cans and the transmitter and the, the receiver. I haven't done all that yet. So, anyway, let's get up there and uh, let's get the uh, let's get the uh, folded dipole down. That's why that's why I had to go get my. Uh, I had to go get the rope and everything, but anyway, let's get up there and get her done did. Well, I done my walk around and uh, checked all the guide wires, made sure everything was stable and tight. Has stormed and rained a lot, so I was kind of worried about the guide wires and the situation. This tower's been here for a very long time. Um, if you'll notice, it's got a little bit of a lean to it up to under. If you can tell, I don't know how good this camera's working, but it kind of leans to the left there a little bit, and or well, it's upside down probably. I don't know. Let me do it this way. It leans to the left there a little bit at the top, tip top, up there. So the some of the guide wires up are kind of loose on one side, but I tightened them up once upon a time. Tried to pull it back as much as I could when I first. Uh, put the 180 up here on top of this tower it was really bad I had to redo all the guide wires and grounding and all that stuff was bad hard line was uh, in rough shape too so I had to run another piece of hard line 150 foot Ron 25 is kind of sketchy you know when you get up there that tall and uh, the way the uh, way this hill is there's not really much room to put guide wires it's all in the trees so if a tree was to fall uh, the tower would probably go with it Anyway, let's get up here and get to the antenna. The sun's came out, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty day. And the clouds are breaking up. Still kind of off in the distance. Looks like some big clouds, but when we get up top of the tower, I'll turn the camera back on and see what it looks like. I remember that sketchy spot of the tower I tell you, told you about? I'm at it right now. That's where it kind of bends right here where I'm at. So 
yeah, it's a little a little sketchy right here. We got just a little bit further to go. Another 10, 20, 30, 40 foot to go. So it's not too bad right here, but it's a little windy. Wind's picking up a little bit. If you can hear me over the wind. And off in the distance, that's Lexington that direction. Somerset's that direction. And there's the interstate and uh, all the hotels and stuff are over there. I had the microphone covered up, probably couldn't hear me there. But uh, anyway, it's the interstate over there. And over here on this side of the tower, I think I cut it off. Anyway, I'm at the sketchy spot of the tower. I think I cut it off. That's Jack's uh, uh, house right down there. You can see the tower sticking up over the trees there a little bit. That's what a top of water towers looks like. The concrete one's no longer in use, of course, but the metal one is the new ones over there. But anyway, uh, Corbin is in that direction. And there's downtown London. I'm not at the top of the tower. I'm at the sketchy spot where it turns. I still got another eh, 40 feet to go, 30, 40 feet to go. And uh, looks like the weather's going to hold out for a little bit longer. So I need to hurry up and get up there and get this antenna down. But anyway, that's what she looks like on the old location, the old one, uh, 147, 180. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's breaking out finally. There's a big black cloud way over yonder. So should be good for a little while longer let's get up here and get that thing down well we made it to the top that's back towards uh, London downtown right there and it's kind of cloudy today so raccoon is kind of invisible back to the end, but you can barely see one of the biggest towers out there which is the one that we're on out there you can barely see it back to the under through the clouds it's only I think it's about four and a half five miles right out yonder way somewhere there's uh, another tower cell phone tower they're putting up there and then that's on the other side of town over there and they got another cell phone tower going over here on the other side of downtown anyway there's the water tank tower that's down towards my direction and I know it's right in there somewhere it's right cloudy and murky looking or smoggish looking today looks like but anyway we're right above the, the bad spot getting ready to take the antenna loose I still got a paid a lot to do this. <laughs> what a hobby. Downtown London. Whew. The sun came out there for a little bit, baked me on there just a little bit. Getting a little warm and humid out here today. Nice day though, in that direction anyway. I don't know what it looks like behind me. I haven't looked back towards the interstate, but that direction it had a lot of clouds that passed over. It was nice there for a few minutes and it got really, really, really hot. Got another sunspot heading this way, it looks like. But anyway, the antennae is dangling on the side of the tower right now, so let's lower it to the ground and lower it to the ground and get off this sucker. Whew, I'm done for today.